Hey, welcome everybody. Keith Wright, Century 21, Portland, Oregon. Today we're talking about acquiring listings, selling your home in a low inventory market. Last week, while Carol and I were in Nevada, enjoying the sun and the Century 21 Global Convention, this was a hot topic right now and it came up many times. The first thing to do is you're gonna to need to locate where you wanna work an area, a neighborhood. Next, find a listing that just came on the market. It doesn't have to be your listing. It can be any listing. We know statistically that when one listing goes on the market, another one will in 30 days. We also know that in six months, another two or three will go on the market. We also know that seven out of 10 of these folks do not have a current agent that they're working with. So there's some opportunity. I will tell you one of the best ways to get listings first, and it's by referral. I'm connected to a number of realtors, brokers, and Facebook groups across the country and North America. You know what the next best method is. It's door knocking. Take this letter right here, internalize the gist of it. It's called, I have a buyer letter. And later today at our video blog, Mr. C21, I will post it there. Don't forget also to take some market stats in your back pocket. Here's another strategy I've not heard until recently. Call a listing agent on a home that was just went pending and ask them, did you get multiple offers? How many? Now door knock. Say something like, the home down the street just went pending. It was listed for 500000 It had multiple offers. We have many buyers. Have you considered moving in the next three to six months? Get into this kind of conversation and take the neighborhood active pendings and solds with you. If they're interested, set up an appointment. Here's some new dialogue I really like, and it goes something like this. I'm quite sure you're at the door that we've never met in person before, but I wanted to make you aware that your neighbor's house down on 123 Century 21 Street went up for sale. This may have changed the value of your home. This is an important part to say to, in, to the seller because we didn't say your value went up. We didn't say your value went down. We said it may have changed the value of your home. Words are very important. What did they hear? They heard the value went up. Then say, I wouldn't want to bother you with worthless information, but I'm also aware that when a house goes up for sale in a neighborhood, usually others want to know what the value of their property is. Are you one of these people who would like to know how much your home is worth. I'm gonna give you two more methods you can use, but the bottom line is that you must shake that tree every day and see how many people you can help and how many listings you can take. Next, if you don't know about Zillow, go visit it. It has a section called Make Me Move. These folks have raised their hand. They're saying, I wanna sell, and of course, there's also for sale by owners and expireds. Last piece, use Facebook Manager, Ad Manager. Go to Ad Manager on your business page, create an ad, use the local awareness button for mapping so you can zero right in on the property addresses or the neighborhood. Spend one buck for seven days and watch what kind of results you get. Test, test, test. Receive more information at our website, portlandrealestatecareer.com and our video blog, mrc21.com. Contact me if you have any questions. Have a blessed day.